Since the founding fathers, the love of the land is something buried deep inside of us. It is our heritage, our history, our passion. And we are its greatest stewards. From the smallest blades of grass to the widest of nature's wonders. This is who we are. This is Hayden Outdoors Life on the Land. Life on the Land is brought to you by Hayden Outdoors, the brand that sells the land. Polaris Off-Road, think outside. Winchester Ammunition and Firearms, the American legend. Cool, born in the mountains. Conterra, financing American agriculture. Western Heritage Consulting and Engineering. Envision, design, build. And by Greeley Hatworks. We start with better bodies. Welcome to Hayden Outdoors Life on the Land. This week, we'll feature property in the central part of the country. In Colorado, we visit a ranch with open pastures, irrigated water rights, and an incredible home. In Kansas, we tour a 960-acre property that's mostly timber and it's been managed for primarily bow hunting. In Missouri, we visit a unique property during deer season that has an incredible habitat and 17 lakes. But first, I get to share my lifelong passion for hunting with my family in Oklahoma. Show Jeff how to eat an Oreo. What do you do first? How do you eat that Oreo? Like that. Show me. Cheese. <laughs> cheese. Cheese. <laughs> my wife Lex and I have a three-year-old daughter named Brimmy and we're always looking for opportunities to combine family time with hunting and the outdoors. Oh, that's big deer. You see it? Wow. Yeah. The leaf? Leaf, yeah. There's a leaf. Should we get that off of him? Hey, Brimmy, whose who's deer is that? Hey, Mommy. Yay, hey, Mommy. We have a hunting lease in Oklahoma, and when fall rolls around, we put on the miles for a little family getaway. This is a hunt that I look forward to every year because the main thing about it, it's all about family. You know, as times have changed over the years, traveling's a little bit different than it used to be. There's all kinds of baby stuff along with the camouflage. And uh, this is a property that Lex and I lease here in Oklahoma. This lease to us is, is about getting out and enjoying land and spending time together as a family. Got your gun, ready to go. This is one of my favorite blinds on the place, and normally this time of year we hunt it a lot because this is the early muzzleloader season in Oklahoma. Love hunting in Oklahoma. Now I'm no stranger to public land hunting, but there's a certain satisfaction that comes with having your own piece of ground to manage for wildlife and get to experience the rewards for that work. One of my favorite blinds, this is the second blind that we put up here on our lease several years ago. We have three on it. I kept putting ground blinds over here in this big tall switchgrass and just producing year in and year out. So we broke down and put this blind over here to get a little bit of elevation and man, the trick over here is getting them close enough to you because you can see so far, you, you see a lot of action up here. It, just to set up here and watch deer is unbelievable. Now watching for only about an hour or so, Lexa actually spotted a mature buck. And we watched him work around other deer for a bit, and he even touched antlers with a younger buck in the area. He said, he's a great deer. I'm tired of messing with him. He's got to get away. I'm going to stop him for you, okay? Okay. <whistles> I 
て、今日は。That was brutal patience, that's for sure. <laughs> you just got to check your one there, sweetie.、Huh? You just got to check your one there. Lex is a very accomplished hunter and has been fortunate over the years to be very successful. But watching her excitement and enjoyment for something that I'm so passionate about never gets old. Man alive, this old grass is hard to track. I might see blood right there, right there. Oh! <laughs> I can see him right there. There he is. <laughs> I love him, he's awesome. A cool buck, huh? He like comes in, curls up on the end there. His tines are longer than I thought they were because they have, they curl and then they, and they turn and these main beams swoop up. Got a big kicker right here. That's, that'll, that one will count down low. I didn't even see that one. That is awesome. I mean, we've killed a lot of deer out here over the years and I've known every one of them. And the cool thing about it is, I've never seen this buck. Ever. And he c o m e in and I still don't know him. So he just never know. Alright, let's pull this big joker out here. The most important thing to us is, is family, right? And this will be three years in a row. Brimmy's two and a half. And this will be the third buck that she set behind with Lexa. So before I cut him up and gut him or do anything else, we're gonna go get like Brimmy and let her see this deer. Hello? <laughs> yes, you can touch it. Cool, huh? Cool. Do you want to get back in there and take a picture with me? Yeah. Okay, come on. What do you think of mommy's deer? Cool. Cool. Cool, cool daddy. It is so cool. Mommy's a good hunter, isn't she? Who did you kill the deer? I killed the deer in the field. This portion of Life on the Land is brought to you by Winchester Ammunition, the American legend. The American farmer. Resilient, tough, dependable. You're no stranger to adversity, hard work, or long hours. Cantera Ag Capital is here to support America's farmers during these challenging times. Whether it's locking in lower fixed rates or adjusting loans to meet today's realities, Cantera is here for you, so you can stay focused on feeding the world. To learn more about our diverse set of lending solutions, visit CanteraAg.com. Wrap your hands around a Winchester Super X4. It's light on the shoulder and points and swings as smooth as honey butter on a hot biscuit. Most of all, it functions freely when the north wind blows cold. The fastest cycling, most reliable, best patterning auto loading shotgun ever made. The Winchester Super X4. The Cimarron Valley Ranch boasts over 45,000 acres of land spread along the historic Santa Fe Trail in Colorado and Oklahoma. This ranch runs along 22 miles of the Cimarron River and supports up to 2,000 cows using rotational grazing pasture, turnkey ranching operations, and ample water from the river and ponds to stock tanks and 13 pivot irrigated circles. Excellent hunting for elk, deer, quail, turkey, and more are found in this rare contiguous ranch. Call Dax Hayden for more information or visit HaydenOutdoors.com. This portion of Life on the Land is brought to you by Western Heritage Consulting and Engineering. Envision, design, build. Now let's head to Custer County, Colorado to check out a ranch listed by Agent Twyla Giroux, the Wetmore Ranch. My name is Greg Tabato, and we're at the ranch. 500 Crestview Drive in Wetmore. We have about 1160 acres on the ranch. We've got about 135 acres in grass, alfalfa, and then we've got meadows and stuff, and then we've got a mountain there's on the property. It's probably one of the only ranches around that's got a mountain on it. The mountain has got a lot of junipers and pine trees and spruce trees, and it's, it's about、uh, four miles long and about 
two miles wide and it's all on the ranch. Here in Custer County, Colorado, the Wetmore Ranch is a quiet, peaceful place you can call home on over 1,200 acres of Colorado Mountain cattle and hay ranch with an incredible luxury home. Views of Pikes Peak to the north, the eastern slope of the wet mountains to the west and south. This property offers excellent hunting as elk and deer graze down to the pasture lands in the evenings and move back into the hills for bedding after sunrise. The well-built and well-maintained home built in 2001 features 5,280 square feet of living space, including a gourmet kitchen that opens to the great room and living room. The ample size master suite is a combination of tile and carpet with his and hers walk-in closets, bathrooms, and oversized tile shower with dual heads. Enjoy radiant in-floor heating, gas and wood fireplaces, concrete covered patio, fully landscaped and fenced backyard, and a three-car garage. More than 1,200 acres feature beautiful diverse terrain, including open irrigated hay fields and pasture. The topography is level, gently sloping to rugged steep. Native stands of white pine, Douglas fir, and oak brush make up the dense forest. Alfalfa and brome grass are grown on the irrigated land. Outbuildings include two hay barns, pole frame barn, equipment buildings, and a caretaker's residence. Wetmore Ranch is well suited for a hobby or recreational ranch. It is easily accessible, has open space, and is an excellent location for those trying to find their new home. Now we head to the Show Me State to check out a property listed by Jeff Lovin and Devin Turley, the Tonderosa. Jake, the Tonderosa is 1,200 acres sitting here in central Missouri. Number one, first and foremost, I think when I think about this property, I think about the lakes. We regularly catch every year a few eight to nine pound bass. The problem with our lakes right now, they need to be fished more. And that's just one of the 17 lakes that are on the property. And the hunting here is incredible. I mean, I've been looking through your folder at some of the whitetail deer that you've taken off the place over the year. The, the hunting, the whitetail hunting here, is, it's just a mecca. We are what's kind of called the bedroom for the area. Uh, we've got just a small amount of row crop on our property, but we have row crop all around us. So the deer from this ranch go out and feed in the grain fields and come back in here. This is their resting area, this is their bedroom. You know, when I think about the Tonderosa, I just think of the sportsman's paradise from, from all the lakes to the whitetail hunting, uh, to the turkey hunting, to the ducks in the area. I mean, this is a place to come if you love the outdoors and love wildlife. This is has been my dream come true. And I'm at the point in my life, I want to share this with even more people. You know, I'd like to see the more families down in here enjoying this. and. You know, I want to share this. The structures here, this main house that we're staying in, the living quarters, uh, is just part of this building. Talk about the, the, the building that we're setting in. The building we're setting in first was built as a 42 by 90 foot building. We built this, uh, the 42 by 90 building. It had an apartment in it and a full kitchen. And then about five, six years ago, we added on again and put in a nice, uh, full class A finished space on one end, which was another 24 by 55 foot space on the end. Driving around here, you've done tons and tons of work by clearing out those roads and putting in, you know, different dams and stuff. But what, tell us some of the work that you've done on the place over the years. So we've pushed in these roads, uh, the lakes, this 70 acre lake that's here in front of the house. You know, I built that lake. We have built lake after lake and road after road and built two bridges across year-round streams and just culverts and made this make made the land accessible. What's your favorite feature of this property? One is had to be the highlight is what we call the swimming hole. And it has a nice emerald blue to sapphire blue to emerald green color changing throughout the year. But it is just a beautiful swimming hole. We've got a nice rope swing, diving platform, a floating dock out in the lake, and everyone is just in awe the first time they see it. 
I'll tell you what, the Tonda Rose is 1,200 acres of sportsman's paradise. It's centrally located, easy to get to from big cities. You're close to a town where you can have access to a Walmart or a grocery store, but you're far enough away that you have the seclusion. This is the type of property that doesn't come up, come up that often, and I'm going to really enjoy looking forward to finding the right person to come in here and, and, uh, and enjoy this property like you have. This portion of Life on the Land is brought to you by Greeley Hat Works. We start with better bodies. Whether this is your office or your playground, you can always do with a little more time to make the most of every day. Introducing the all new 2021 Polaris lineup, each engineered to fit more into every minute and equipped with the industry's leading on-demand all-wheel drive system for instant traction and integrated ride command that keeps an eye on the trail, hitch, and your group, as well as new LEDs that extend the day well into the night because you get more out of your day when you've got more machine. Polaris, think outside. This portion of Life on the Land is brought to you by Polaris Off-Road. Think outside. Now we cross over the state line into Kansas to take a look at a property Stacy Callahan has listed, Caney Ridge. I'm Stacy Callahan with Hayden Outdoors. We're here today to showcase the Caney Ridge. This property will extend out into the Caney Creek Valley where there's surrounded by cropland, big timber, food plots, and there's a tremendous amount of whitetail deer sign in this creek valley. We're here in Caney Ridge. We're in the actual Caney Valley. And this behind me is one of the main features of the, of the property. This is the North Caney Creek. about three quarters of a mile that runs through this lower valley of the part of the property. We've got about 200 feet of elevation change and this bottom is highly productive soil, tremendous amount of sign and wildlife here. We have food plots in this, in this area and we're bordered by crop ground on both sides. This strip of timber is like a funnel that extends down into the property, down into the valley and it provides some exceptional hunting. As you head up into the main portion of the property, the property is covered in about 90% hardwood timber. In this timber, you will find interior roads and trails, food plots, deer feeders. This is one of the feeder stations here on the property. Uh, these are put in place mainly for photos. Seller does a lot of research here on management. The hunting here is over for the year, so we're in a feeding pattern. The bucks and does are really hitting these feeders uh, and really hitting the food sources. Canyon Ridge was originally designed for a bow hunter's property. This property is, like I said, it's got 200 feet of elevation change. Now we're getting up into the higher elevations of the property. And right now I'm in a spot where if you're a gun hunter, you've got phenomenal places to be able to take advantage of that. And uh, this property is about 80 to 90% covered in, in hardwood timber. The acre mass here is, is insane. But the food source, just a natural food source during the fall. The wildlife here is abundant. Canyon Ridge includes a 1,400 square foot cabin as we're sitting in today. It is a two bedroom cabin, two full bath, a very modern cabin, and it fits this ranch perfectly inside. You can house four or five people at a time, four or five hunters, uh, and you can hunt this ranch with that many hunters very comfortably and this cabin is a perfect fit for the size ranch that it is. In the, located in the center of this property is a, is a really big valley. It's one of my favorite features of the property. Uh, large, big timber, uh, massive oaks, a lot of hardwoods. This area is a lowly wood deer sign.
One looks for diversity in a piece of property, especially a recreational hunting track. Here on Canyon Ridge, this property is well managed for whitetail and turkey, mainly for the whitetail deer. There is numerous food plots throughout the whole 960 acres. Very large timber, crop ground, the farmland, the bottom, the live creek in the valley, and of course we have a, a, a seasonal creek here that flows about 80% of the year. This property is very diverse and it's just a true hunter's paradise right here in this one valley. This portion of Life on the Land is brought to you by Winchester Firearms, the American legend. Greeley Hatworks has been making and recrafting hats for over 100 years. Since 1909, our high quality materials and platinum customer service have set us apart from the other hat makers. We call that hatisfaction. We make more than just cowboy hats. Shop our 970 fashion line or check out any of our many collaborations, including our collaboration with Anna V Outdoors, hats made specially for life outdoors. Visit our store in Greeley, Colorado, or shop our selections of custom and ready-to-ship hats at GreeleyHatWorks.com. Since 1976, Hayden Outdoors Real Estate has grown to over 150 land brokers and agents offering unparalleled real estate services stretching from coast to coast. From cattle ranches and working farms to hunting tracks, recreational properties, and country estates. Visit HaydenOutdoors.com to find your next property. Hayden Outdoors Real Estate, the brand that sells the land. Your work is your ethic. Your handshake is your bond. Your word will outlive you. There's only so much you can leave behind in this life. Make your land your legacy. Landowners nationwide trust Western Heritage with their land enhancement and development. No matter what the project is, Western Heritage will make sure your future is in good hands, your own. This portion of Life on the Land is brought to you by Conterra, financing American agriculture. Well, as you can tell, we switch seats tonight. Lexa tagged out last night on a great buck, and uh, it's my turn now. We're back in the same blind where she killed her deer last night. We got a real cold front coming in. Right now is the warmest temperatures that it's gonna be for the next 48 hours, and it's 37 degrees. We got a couple of really nice deer on camera here besides the one that she shot last night. So hopefully with this weather coming in, they're gonna get on their feet early tonight, close enough that I can Put the crosshairs on one. With Lexa having harvested a great buck the day before, I was excited to get out there and see if I couldn't spot a mature buck, or at least harvest some mature doe to help the herd and keep our buck to doe ratio in check. Boy, the deer are acting way different tonight than they did last night. That cold weather coming in, they've, they're moving a lot earlier. Uh, we have a lot more deer in the field but they're kind of hugging that tree line all the way down through there because of that heavy, cold north wind blowing. Hopefully, as night progresses, some bigger, mature bucks will start coming out. We sat and watched the rest of the evening and hunted the next couple of days in the snow and the freezing temperatures and saw some great younger deer, but I just never saw the right buck I was looking for. I'm very impressed with the number of deer we've seen so far. I didn't know if they would move this morning or not. And actually I've seen two of our older deer come in here. There's a big eight that come in here. Definitely old enough to shoot, but this weather's just so much fun to hunt and you never know what's gonna show up. And sometimes it's just fun to watch them and hope that maybe a bigger one shows up or maybe even one you don't even know about. With time winding down, I was content just waiting and watching what bucks were in the area. But I also wanted to get some more venison for the freezer before we headed back. So when the opportunity presented itself, I decided it was time to take a doe. As I've gotten older, I've realized how important spending time in the outdoors is 
with family. And once I became a father, that passion of being outside is transferred into wanting to spend time outside with my daughter and let her share how much I love the outdoors and let her develop and see if she loves it just as much as I do. And at an early age, it's very easy to see she has that passion. Whether it's going out and seeing a deer that, that her mom's killed or a doe that I've harvested, the smile on her face and what she's learning, the fact that we're taking food from the field and putting it on our table and the things that she's learning is so important to me. And to see the smile on her face and the twinkle in her eye when she takes those pictures with her mom's deer or my deer is something as a dad I will remember forever. For more information on any of our great properties for sale, please call 866-741-8323 or visit us online at HaydenOutdoors.com.